So hey guys, I've been really interested in 3D printing for a while. I think it's a fantastic way to you know, create new designs and you know, fix things around the house. Um, but one thing I've always wanted to try outside of sort of some of the apps that you can get on you know, your iPhone or your Android is a dedicated 3D scanner. Um, now normally these things are incredibly expensive. Um, some of them can be in the thousands and thousands. Or you can go with the sort of cheap DIY versions and they are, you know, the quality's just not quite there. You can do some quite interesting results with your iPhone, um, but you do need a sort of a few little um, additional bits and pieces, whereas this, in theory, should give me everything I want. Now, I've not touched this yet other than take it out of the box. Um, so, yeah, well, let's uh, have a look, let's look through it. So, I'm guessing... We've got the scanner itself, and ideally, no, don't touch the, uh, the lenses. So that's uh, it's quite a nice unit. Typical camera mount there. That's nice. So when I mentioned about um, you know additional tools and bits and pieces, is you kind of want a turntable. If you're ever three D scanning something, you want whatever object you're scanning. You want realistically you want your scanner to be sitting in a one particular uh, position whilst the object you're scanning you know, goes in circles. Um, it just basically produces a much more natural and accurate scan. And that's pri primarily one of the reasons why I wanted to go down this route. Now obviously we've got the usual uninteresting stuff like I presume, so we've got you know the old selfie stick, got millions of those. Uh, no idea what that is, I guess that's power uh, maybe to connect to computer and to download. But various adapters, I presume, for the charger. It's quite good they use. I like how they've started adding these into because um, if you do go abroad and such, they're so useful. Um, power bank, pretty standard. What are those? Sil oh, I thought that was silicon. That looks like a little, uh, one little camera adapters. Yep, always useful they are. Last but not least, as far as the hardware goes, ah, oh, so this must be a tripod. Yeah, so fantastic. That's the sort of thing that if you imagine you had your your scanner and you were, say, sitting at your desk or otherwise, you could leave this here and that would merely spin around. Um, okay, last but not least, let's just see what gump they've added to the manual. Oh, no, I might have more hardware. No idea what that is. Maybe that's to sit on top of a, ah, so it must be a calibration disc ring, possibly, don't know. We'll have to find out what that is. Could even be just as simple, simple as a stand, I don't know. But it does look like calibration, if I didn't know any better. Don't know how that's coming up on the camera. Cool. And I think this is just what constitutes as a manual these days. Wow, that's thin. Good, that means it's easy, hopefully. Yeah, I don't think there's anything terribly exciting in there. Um, the case itself, silicon, I need to buy some of these. Um, the case itself is actually nice and compact. As you can see, I mean, imagine, I don't have a banana for scale, but uh, it's nice and easy to carry around, so ideally portable. Should be interesting to see how all this does on a, a sort of a, a larger scale object. So, I don't know if you were trying to scan the front of a car or something, whether this would be something useful. In theory, this is meant to have both a close range, hence the, uh, hence of the, the spinning disc, but also it's capable of sort of dealing with uh, scanning objects further away. So ideally, we'll, we'll give this a crack and report back. Thanks all, cheers.